Hello friends and welcome to Escaping the Mouse with your host, me, Breck Roll. All right, day two of work is in the can for this week and it was actually a pretty good day today. Um, I got put onto a line uh, that I've worked on a bunch of times, paired up with kind of an experienced person that I've worked with a bunch of times who I think is probably one of the best people to learn where, from. And in addition to that, uh, our, our little group today got paired up with a third person, a temp which meant that the temp could run the production line and I got to spend a whole bunch of time, got to basically spend the whole day almost doing uh, the behind the scenes stuff, the paperwork, the QA, all the stuff that you know I've needed to learn and I need to know how to do, but really haven't had, to, had time to do because of production demand. So that was really good. Uh, the day actually started off a little bit slow. Uh, because the line was down when I first arrived. That's not uncommon because when we switch from one product to another, it takes a little time to, to get the old product purged out of the machine and uh, the new product ready to go. So when I, when I arrived, like I said, the machine was down and it didn't actually start rolling until probably 10 or 10.30 in the morning. So that was like three hours after I got there. So that was plenty of time to do all the initial paperwork, kind of familiarize with myself with it. And the person I've been working with uh, that I worked with today is actually a pretty, I think she's a pretty good trainer. I don't know. I don't know if they call her a trainer, but she seems to be a natural at it because, you know, she doesn't just say, okay, here's what you do. You do this, you do this, you do this. She realizes that I've kind of worked on this machine off and on for, you know, a few, a couple of months now. And she says, okay, uh, here's what we need to do today. And then she asks me, okay, so what do we do next? What do we, okay, well, you know, what page is, uh, uh, is this document on? Where do you find out, you know, where do you enter this record? Hey, I've got this information. Where do you go do it? Uh, how do you get that? You know, she's asking a bunch of program, uh, a bunch of, uh, probing questions to, you know, help me learn better. And, you know, I work, I work really well with that. That's also a tech, a technique that I've used when I've been a trainer. So I kind of know, you know, what works and she definitely did a really good job today. Now about midday, we started having a weird error on one of the machines. And, uh, as I've said, you know, there've been, you know, I can usually be left alone with the machines and, uh, run it and keep it going without much of a problem. Uh, but there are, you know, still a whole bunch of things that I don't know. I know how to deal with the more common problems, the kinds of things that are likely to happen. Uh, but those things that don't happen very often, they can be really elusive. And usually what I've been told to do is if I have a problem with the machine, you know, to try and fix it myself. And if I can't, you know, go find somebody on another line who's more experienced that can do it. So when I first came across this problem, I went to the line next to me and found one of the more experienced people and she was alone on her line. So I said, can I trade positions with you for a few minutes? Uh, I got a problem with my machine. And if you'll go look at that, I'll kind of tend your machine for a while. And she went over there and, you know, I can always tell when it's a stupid problem that I probably should have known uh, how to handle because, you know, she'll usually be back in 30 seconds and say, yeah, here's what you should have done. And then I'll kind of, you know, hit myself on the head and say, yeah, you're right. I should have known that. Well, a couple minutes went by. I didn't hear anything. A few more minutes went by. I still didn't hear anything. And I don't know, after seven or eight or 10 minutes or whatever, she walked back in and I said, wow. And I said, it must've been kind of quite a problem. And she says, yeah, I couldn't figure out what it is either. And I had to call a technician to do it. Um, after, you know, after we got that problem fixed, the machine ran a little bit and then that problem happened again. And so at this point I knew to call a technician immediately rather than to try and get someone, you know, just an operator to try and help. And so we got the technician in and they fixed it and then, and it worked for a while. Then it, broke down with the same problem again and they came in and fixed it again and and by the time we got to the fourth time when they fixed it I said okay what is it specifically that's happening uh, you know is it something that I can fix and they said no not really what what's going on is there's this robotic arm that's supposed to grip the product and then put it in a tray and apparently this robot arm which has to open and close 
repeatedly during the day to grip and ungrip the product, apparently it's starting to get a little old. And like a person, I guess it's getting arthritis or something like that. And so what's happening is it either closes and it won't open or it opens and it won't close, or sometimes it opens, but it doesn't open all the way. And when that happens and the machine records it as an error and it shuts down. And basically the only thing you can do is to get in there and just manually flex the robot arms and, uh, you know, to try and break loose whatever whatever's going to happen. Ultimately, I think what's going to have to happen is they're going to have to replace that gripper arm. And, uh, you know, it's just a matter of how much production are they going to lose uh, doing that. And right now, it was a lot today. We ended up uh, having to throw away a whole bunch of product because of that one little gripper arm. So I don't know if they've got another one of these in stock. I was actually kind of recommending uh, that what they ought to have done is gone to the next line over, which has basically the same equipment, but that line was down. It wasn't running today and just take the robot arm off of that one and move it to this machine. But apparently there wasn't enough time to deal with that. So I don't know. We'll see what happens. You know, maybe the technicians overnight will deal with it. Otherwise, you know, it'll either be my problem if I end up on that line again tomorrow or it'll be someone else's problem. And, you know, then if I get through it tomorrow, then, uh, you know, I got three days off and, you know, maybe it'll become enough of an irritant uh, during that time that somebody will step in and say, okay, let's just fix this. I know that's happened a bunch of times, you know, the same problem happens over and over and over again. And eventually they get to the point where, you know, rather than just putting a Band-Aid on it, they uh, fix it. And then once they fix it, the problem goes away. So it's just a matter of how long the problem is going to have to exist before somebody just makes a decision that, hey, we got to fix that. So I don't know. That's where we are right now. Uh, so I think that's all that I have for today. Thank you, as always, for watching. And I will see you next time on Escaping the Mouse. Good night.